Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see how to create fixed length position based reports in the form of flat file. This type of report can be developed using eText template. So let's see how to do this. So before we do, let's consider a use case. So what is the use case that we are going to consider? First, we want to start a new payables invoice record with a hard coded value as new, which is of three characters of length. Next, we will print a white space. Next, we will print vendor number or supplier number, which will span up to 15 characters. If vendor number is less than 15 characters, then rest of the characters will be padded with white spaces. Next, we will print the invoice number, which will span up to 30 characters. Print the invoice number in all capitals. And if the length of the invoice number is less than 30 characters, then rest of the characters will be padded with white spaces. Now, we will print the invoice date in the form of YYYYMM DD format, which will span up to eight characters. Then again, we will print a white space and then print the invoice amount, which will span up to 15 characters. If the digits are less than 15 digits, then it will be padded with zero before the original digits. Next, print the invoice currency code which is of three characters. So how that looks like? So let's look at the RTF template. So this is how the RTF template looks like. Here we have to give the XDO file name, then just a title of it. Then we will give the template type, the output character set and the case conversion new record character which is carriage return then we have given some hint and this is the table which will be created based upon a group and the records will repeat based on this group now if you see first we will give the position and then it will span till three characters so the length is three and here it has hard coded value as new that we have already seen in the case study next is the white space which will start from the fourth position and it will be of length one. Then the supplier number which will start from fifth character and the length is 15. And to pad, we have given right padding and padding will be done with white spaces, right? And it would be after the vendor number. Then Invoice number, we wanted to make it all capital, which will start from 20th character, will span till 30th length, and it will also be padded with space on the right of the invoice number. Next, the invoice date, which will be starting from 50th character and will span 8 characters. The format is YY, YY, MM, TD. And then we have again white space for one length, which will start at 58th position, which will span till 15 characters, which is of type number. And then it will be prefixed with zeros if it is less than 15 characters. Then from 74th position, next three characters will be the invoice currency code. Now, these are the column names or it can be alias in our data model. So, let's look at the data model now. So, this is how our data model looks like. We have selected the supplier number or vendor number from POZ underscore suppliers. And then we have selected invoice underscore num, invoice underscore date, invoice underscore amount invoice underscore currency code from AP invoices all and you can see the alias names which we have used 
is exactly the same that we have given in our data model. Now let's create the data model. So let's copy the query, go to reports and analytics, click on new, then data model. Let's select SQL query, give it a name. Now I'm going to select the data source as application db underscore fscm and I'm going to paste the query over here. Click OK and let's go to data view. Yes, so query is fetching the data correctly. Now let's save the data model. Let's go to shared folders, custom, then financials, under financials we will select training underscore BIP and I'm going to give it a name EText underscore data model and click OK. Now in order to create report we have to save the sample data so let's click on save as sample data click OK. Now click on create report. So this is the wizard now I will select use report editor and click on finish. Now let's give it a name etext underscore xdo. Click OK. Now we are going to load the layout or the template etext underscore layout. Let's choose file, the template file. So this is the sample RTF template. Click open. Select type as e-text, local as English. Now click upload. Now click save report to save. Now click on view report. And this is how the data will look like. So as you can see, the first three characters is the invoice type. Let's look at the RTF template. So record type or invoice type as new, then a white space, then the vendor number. So you can see the vendor number and it would go till 15 characters. So there are white spaces right till then. To this position then we have the invoice number which is all in uppercase so you can see here then we will have the white spaces to make it 30 characters rather then we have the date format in yyyy mmdd format then again white space then we have the invoice amount preceded with zeros then we have the invoice currency code which is spanning for three characters now let's download this report and let's just keep it with us so it's downloaded let's look at the report so this is how the report will look like so this is how we develop the fixed length position based report in a flat file format. Now let's talk about the takeaways from this session. What are those? All SQL functions can be applied in a data like two care, two number, max, mean, NVL, decode, upper, lower, count, ceiling, round, replace, etc. So one example I have shown in the RTF template, right here, you can see I have used upper. So similarly, these other SQL functions can also be used. Next, e-text templates can also be used for character delimited data output files as well. Third, and the last one, Payment files, bank statements are created using e-text templates. That's all. Thank you.